I had to go, that's to introduce you. Yes. So I will introduce me. Okay, Shkoyach, okay. everybody, for coming. And uh, for all, for all those listening on, uh, when, who are not here, and it's right before Hanukkah, it's very hard. You all know it said, I said over this week in the in the Chumash that uh, the, the Bnei Yaakov went out to Shechem and it says, Rashi says, Nekoit al es. Es is Lerabois because they went out for themselves. They didn't only go out, so they didn't go out only to help their Kibbara for their father. Because Rashi's by warning, I saw in the Sefer of Shmuel Bermel, Shluchei Mitzvah Einei Nezaken. And if they would have gone with, without any other motive, they would have had the, the Megino Matzla of Shluchei Mitzvah Einei Nezaken. The same applies to Taira. Taira is Megino Matzla. You learn Taira, you have Megino Matzla. Stutzach HaGan Sevelt outside, everybody's very busy. Those who take the extra effort to put aside an hour to hear from a Talmud Chacham, like our goddess Mishlita, to hear the Taira that we say, there's a Taira Megino Matzla. It shows you really mean it. If we really mean it, the Ebishtu will shank us back, will give us the Matona. It will be the Taira Megino Matzla. It's my pleasure, COVID, honor. To ask Yididi, however, for the Shia today on the Sunday. Okay, uh, Rabbi Sai, so first of all, um, as always, um, now for many years, Yashakayak to Adain Marid Asra for being me and with the ability to learn Taira and participate in a little bit Megina Matzla for our Chabura. Um, I said it last week. With the people that we are Zaycha to learn with, which is always the preferred way of learning Taira, but you also be able to learn Taira for people, Merchakim, because the Rabbi created a, a technological construct which has its challenges, but also has its good things. So there are people who are not um, on site who we hope to be able to share the very Taira with. Hain Banach Rabbi is the yard site. In my reign of Rabbeinu, a goin, the man who the lame, Ben Habneach Svi Steinman, the Ladoir, and somebody who I was Zeicha, can't say I was Makurv, that would be overstating it vastly because I'm not sure he was so nana to take me from Mechitzasai, but I was Zeicha to drive around at the periphery of watching this Gavra Rabba who bestrode the Eilam Ataira like a giant, um, uh, especially in his younger years, between the ages of 80 and 100, when he was the acknowledged leader of Klal Yisrael, and I was able to watch his Hanhag of the Klal, just as importantly, Hanhag of the Prat, and he was a person who, it's impossible to be Matar, because he, many things that he did were Lamala, I mean, the Sagis of us regular people. So this is not obviously the time to do a uh, full hesped, what I'm going to do instead, if Sayyusav should be Dovevais Bekever, I'm going to begin tonight by introducing some um, some Ra'ayoin in Taira Bishmai, and I'm going to close tonight um, in the same vein. I think a parsha, Rabbi Sai, state, as the brothers sold Yosef, they came back and there was a, there was a, obviously, so they prepared the house, the Shiva house, Yaakov Vinu, Vayikum Kol Benaisav, Banav Benaisav, Lenachamay, Vayimoyen Lis Nachem. Why? As they state by Chazal, that Yaakov Vinu did not take the Chomish. They in Rashi, when they told Yaakov Vinu, the Torah of Tairav, and they took the Katainas, um, and they showed to Yaakov at the exact Ksainas Bini, ranked Rashi above Worcester Medrash. Interestingly enough, it's not in Medrash Rabbah. It's in the later, it's in Pirkei Rebbe Yezer, which is the early Medrash, and then it's in Tanchum. Why it's not in Medrash Rabbah? Vesach Nish, Das Dach Misharedin with the Mumchim of Medrash. And Rashi says, why didn't they tell Yaakov? Because, says Rashi, they made a Cherim, as Medrash Megalazine to Yaakov. And they only had nine people, as we're about to learn in a few moments, in order to enact a cherim in Halacha, Daf Mahabim, ten people. You need ten people. So what did they do? There was Shitev HaKadosh Baruch Hu in the cherim, 
the Kajbaruch Hu, so to speak, became a Shuntim. Shuntim means a Shuntim. He was a partner in the Cherem, and that's how they enacted the Cherem. As I state in Chazal, obviously this Chazal raises more questions than answers. The Ramban, in his Pirush on Chumich, interestingly enough, is silent on this. The Ramban has a Chibur called Mishpat HaCherem, which I'm going to spend the first third of tonight's limited amount of time going through the Ramban's Mahalach and the Sugan, the Indian of Cherem. I'm not going to go through inside with you, obviously, in every detail, but now a room read in some of the Rashi Prakim. Um, why? Because this week's uh, Dafim, until Friday, until Friday, this week's Dafim were uh, from the, uh, what we call, there's no such thing as a life of Daphne Shastra, but say, no such a thing. But, uh, you know, on, a, on our level of understanding, it was from the Leichter and Daphim. So there weren't any Mizrach Kishmaka, one Kishmaka Sugi to pick. But there were several references till Friday. Friday was Dvarim Amukim Ma'id Hilchais, as you all know, the Yisait of, of Hilchais Tarugis, you learned the Ran yesterday's Ran, Keshin Upland and Gansi Aridea. But that we don't have the ability to go into now. But there were several references to the term cherem in the last week. The word cherem has many meanings, and we're going to talk tonight about one of the meanings of the word cherem and its connection to nidarim. But here we have an example of this cherem in this week's parsha. I'm not making this connection because I need a drasha. Rabbeinu Haramban in his sefer Mishpat Cherem himself makes the connection, as I'm going to show you in a few moments, in the middle of explaining the, the important clawrim of us hasta cherem, the Ramban has sakasha from this cherem. Before I tell you this Ramban inside, I'm going, to, I'm going to answer a question which I'm sure has gone through the mind of many of you, all the ones who were here and not here. And everybody asks this kasha. I was asked this kasha. I mentioned this last night already. The first asked the kasha, what is what the fact is chazal? Because Baruch Hu, you meshatah from the cherem nisht oiz zog red and siyak. Rabban, as I said, and Chumash doesn't talk about this. Who talks about it? Talmud, Talmidai, Rabbeinu Bachya. And I'm going to tell you what Rabbeinu Bachya says. What's the obvious kasha? No, Rabbi said. What's the obvious kasha? Fashtenish. The Rosh Hashanah the Cherem here, not to tell you about what's going on here. It says the Rabbeinu Bachabir Adavar. Hey, my Yutisha, Lafichach Shitu Lakadosh Baruch. You don't have it. But this, this is Rabbeinu Bachia. I didn't copy it. Lahashlam Asar Achrim Adavar. They needed a tenth. The Dafa Matzainter. So who do they have bring for the Tzainter? The Rabbeinu Shlom Alein. But are you they called Adavar Kasha Ben Echa? They will mitzar after the Rabbeinu Shlom to a Cherem. I'll bring you a right, a template. Anybody want to guess? Everybody say. It was such a template. Such a template. Where is this? I don't have time to stretch this out as I would in other forums. Shekane, Asa, Avram, Ben It was down to nine people to be Matzal Sadaim, right? With the Heliga Chashav Mishpacha from Light. And they were missing one. So what did Avram of Yunus say? Bikesh Tirufe Shal Kadush Baruch, Uim Tishal Akal Karech Kerech. That's how they had it, 45 times 9, and they were going to um, see the bunch, and, and, and Abraham Avinu was going to try to save Sadaim that way by being Mitzarev, the the the, the Kadosh Baruch Hu. On my way, Abraham Avinu said to the bunch of Atta Tzidika Shalaylam, he'd starve for men of an instant. Right? The Bible had the obvious cash of us for Einad Nida and Daimel Araya. There, Abraham Avinu was trying to do a good thing. What was the good thing he was trying to do? is a willing participant in a situation where he is doing a tzola of a city. I wanted to overturn something. didn't want to overturn something. wanted to do the tshuva. So Terry says, it was a good thing. No, not a kasha. The kasha is zel atzola zel apriyanyais. Says the ben b'chai amayr de gavart, which touches up the entire parsha, the entire episode. Ain't a pranius. This cherem nish oisazagin to Yaakov is not a pranius. Why? Ki im hatzolas kol Yisrael being meshatav a kadosh in this cherem not to tell Yaakov as hatzol of klal Yisrael v'kovid la kadosh baruch hu ki pachtu lo nafsham 
They were worried for their life. Yaakov will file out. Keep that word klola in mind. Keep that word klola in mind. Klola ilamis. You got to give him a klola ilamis. Yaakov, if you'd have been mekal of them. Benimtu kama. Now, the Gantz is Afshetzach is a bissel l'mal l'masa v'seinu. Kosh Baruch wanted this plan. He didn't want this plan. All the the kosher inyan. And when I call the last third of Sefer Bereshis, with my with my Shomer Likchay back home, is the last third. Everybody knows the famous, the famous opening line um, in the the entire in Valajan, the the the, the dying and the entire in Valajan. Once he out the entire tradition of Beis and the Nitziv, he walks in and he says, "Nur Abaisai, welcome to the entire. We're now in Parshas Vayeshev." And they look at him. It was Parshas Noya. That's when they started the entire. What is the Parshas Vayeshev? So he looked at it. You know, wondering. He says, "All the first two third Parshias." Of safe and bracious, there's a very identifiable villain, right? We know who the villains are, okay? The Dar Mabel, the Dar Stein, the the Dar Flaga, the 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 Malachim, Avi Malach, Para, Yishmael, Esav, Chulu, Lava. Guess of the last parsha is Vem Ret Mendo, Ret Vegin, something which is total Malamasa Gesenu. We can somehow delude ourselves to think that we can understand the battle between Lavan and Yaakov, or the battle between the Shvatim. What exactly was the Shvatim Cheshbon? That's not for for this year, obviously. But it's Hashver Zach to Fashtein. But they take the Ben Abachai that the Kadosh Baruch Hu had such a Indian to keep it quiet, and therefore had Yaakovinu found out because Yaakovinu was. In today's language, he was uh, taken off the net. What net am I talking about? The Navi net. I'll see, you'll see the allusions to that in a second. And Yaakov Navi Nevuel was taken away from him. Uh, why? Because he was Shari B'Tzar, and he was in a Vayaman L'Sabel, but we all know Lamaisa, he was without Simcha, without his beloved Yosef, but he can't just have Nevuel, so he didn't have Nevuel, the Yosef was alive. But had he found out what he had done, had they been made al MS, he would have been Makalam Kalilam. This for Nimti Israel Tlim is actually Yaakov, Betalim and Ailam. The shift they caught would have been subject to a klala in bottle, and therefore what? Zak Duramban Vain me Farsama Lakus will be nobody to take the shame of the Rabbi Shlam and be Mafarsam in the whole world. Rabbi said a tough good of you. Outside Kaladiris, every single person sitting here and every person listening has only one tafkid in the world. As the Rav said, the tafkid in the world is to be, be Meraimein Kvayt Shemayim. Our biggest mitzvah is to learn Torah. That's what our job is. Imagine the Shvatim would have been Mekulul, and they would have been um, precluded from doing their job. Amy Yafarsim Alekus, Amy Shakasov, brings a Pasuk. It's good for the Rabbi Shalom itself, it's called Yisrael. And he goes on to say, Marit, exact two people knew. What are two people? Everybody knows one. Who's the one person who did know? One knows. It's Rashi. No? Yitzchak. But there's another person who knew. Not brought in Rashi. No? Rabbi Say? Who else knew? The young Yashve is the kleel of the Avonim and the Chaysh Mishvat because it's kolul from all the colors. Each color is another mida. The Klai Yisrael is Nizbarech boy. Yashve is kolul of each shave, it represents another mida. Yashve is kolul all the, the colors. It's the most. Glittering, the most chashav of all the colors in Dasik Ben Benyamin, it was Klal Ab Klu Amidais, Zak de Ben Bachai, Vedarsha Rajdal, a beautiful, precious rabba. What is this Yashfei? Anybody know? What's the matter if you can't know? Yeshpai! Yeshpai. Erda. Yeshpai. Yosef is here. Benyamin knew Yosef is here. So Rabbi Sai, Kajbarku told Yitzchak, Fred of Steinman. Fekta Steinman. Harei Maksha. Mehechin Yadi Yitzchak. 
I'm saying this was Eich Nishmas to Rebbe of the Nyard site. So Zayn Yisuf says to Davis became how did Yitzhak know? Vishem Yesh Leymar, they made a cherim. They made a cherim. So how did Yitzhak know? Yitzhak the cherim was calling Yitzhak too. Pasha the kash and Yitzhak kash the Mizrach is kash. Vishem Yesh Leymar to Eichrimai as I fricked. As I gesagt, fragt der Steimen, der Aim. Sagt der Steimen, schäme ich schleimer. Der Leier Chrimu, bichir ist leile galas el el Yaakov. The Chirim was only not to tell Yaakov. Yitzchak was not included in the Chirim, because they should lay it there. Why do we have to mitzar Yitzchak the Zayda that his grandchild was lost? So they told Yitzchak, and Yitzchak was not magale to Yaakov. But Zarek Bir Makush is Rashi. Fragt der Steimen, what's the kash alom Yitzchak le Sipra le Yaakov? They made a cherim. The tzarich leimar, the achrimai chiddush atzim shleil legalis sheyakov shehem achru. The cherim was on the sale, but there were a lot of talent that he's still alive. Chiddush atzim. Ah, this is Rabbi Sai. Up ends a lot of our standard mahalach in the, in the parsha. We mechayim b'farshi yitzchak yilei yakov since he saw that a kadosh baruch hu was not being megalal loy. Agav, I'll tell you. Um, the Rav and I sometimes we exchange words that we heard from the Gedalia Yisrael. He tells me many that he heard. So I'll tell him something that I heard. And I was in, in the presence of, of Michal Feinstein, Zech Tzadik Levracha. We were talking about, it goes back 20 years more, 25, maybe 20, 25 years, Kedeng So I can't remember the exact setting. And I don't want to say words that he didn't say, but we were talking about the Kesha between the Parshish and Aftaira. He told me at Gehert Meshver, I'm 99.9%, he said it over from the Briskarov, that everybody understands that there's a kesher between the Parsha, between the, uh, uh, between the Parsha and the Haftarah, which is obvious. So what's the obvious kesher between this Parsha and the Haftarah, by say? Al Mechram Batsadik, Mechram Batsadik, Batsadik, the Evyayim Bavur, Nalayim, and the Mchtayt Shayim Chazal, that the answer Chmolek Sunda Saru Gemachus came because of the Mechirisayshev. But he said, so the more than one, more than one thing. And so we will, I said it was this week, this this time of the year. So I thought, what's it on Parsha Vayeshev? That's Mekenzogim. That there's more than one thing. And then I found something, and I said it to him, and he and he smiled and he says they are good. What happened here, Lamaisa? It was a nevua, but the nevua wasn't allowed to be transmitted further, right? Because it was a nevua. Yitzchok, had, they knew about it, but Yaakov did not. The nevua did not get to Yaakov. And the pasuk states, "Val neviim tzivisim leimer loyti nevu." Pasuk number one: "Kileas Hashem likim davar kim gilei soide elavod of haneviim." In this week's parsha, the connection between a kadosh baruch hu's soides. And the Nevi'im, I'll pee, this Cheyron had to be stopped. And maybe this is another connection between the Parsha and the I'd come to my side. Now let's talk about the Sugi de Kala, which is Mishpatei HaCheyron. So the Ramban, brought here on page one, I'm just going to read you lines, it's a few lines that are necessary because we don't have time um, to go through the Ramban inside. It's much bigger than what I even copied here. So the Ramban was, was needed to explain what the aside of the word Cherem is. As you know from the Sech and Sedarim, the word Cherem is one of the Lashonais that a nether is chal through the word Cherem. What does Cherem mean? So there are several uses of the word Cherem in the Torah. Three psukim at least, where the word Cherem is completed, we are, which is contained. We're talking about here, the Ramban starts discussing Put this yid in cherem. Not That's one aspect. And then there is something called cherme hakoho. When the kohol makes a takana and they attach to the takana that if you don't keep the takana, you will be put in cherem. There's one, which is negeya. Many, probably. One given the fact that we live in disparate kehillas now, so that's a good shayla. Can, can this kehillah make a, a cherem which is chal on me? Let's say you want to make a, 
At the Kana, everybody has to come learn six hours on Sunday morning, which would be a good thing. And if you don't come, Yachram Kol Rechushay, can you do that? Is it Chal on me? Is it Chal on anybody else? Even if Chal Hashel is Chal on you? But that is a... The word Chayram is the negative, what comes out of it if you don't keep it. But in Rishayim and in Chazal, the word Chayram is used to describe the Takan itself also. So if you do, you put a chayrim, in fact, the Ramban was asked, how do you take this chayrim off? He says, Namlachem lahatir, how? The shots of the kohol gets up. Haimid v'aymer, huter ha chayrim. the Ramban, but we have a clout, we've learned already, and we'll come back to it several times in the rest of the balance of Masech Zedarim, that a nether which, what, how can you be matter a nether without a pesach or a chayrata? So how is it possible for the shots to get up and say, Huter HaCherem? So the first Ramban says, the Achrosa says, the Cherem is like a neder or das rabim. But inhedded, embedded in the neder, the neder or das rabim, was that V'yoyidim v'eskimu kulam beheter, sh'yesh le'afara. When do I say neder or das rabim, mainly afara? That's if there are people who don't want it. But to everybody was masking to the heter, you could be made for it. The call can be matrit without a pesach. The Ramban is referring to the Maira. Who is the Maira? He's referring to the Ga'inim. Shehinig lahater nidreit sibur b'inyan zeh. Azoi zok to Ramban in Sefer Mishpatei Achim. Ramban then asks Kashas of this, and he says, Lemaisa, the you say to this has to be that the tzibur has to be nizhar, to be matarit, only if everybody agreed to the chayrim, then now everybody has to agree to the dissolution of the chayrim. And it has to be dafka b'maimet ancheir, v'aldas ancheir. But if there are a few people missing from the community meeting, ain't a klum. Even with a chacham and a charata gemura, it's not matter because it's on das rabim. We're not made for such a nether. I thought of asking you examples of current day charam. So there's one shem shtaim that you all know, right? Everybody knows the thing called charam ben gershim, which that there are two charam ben gershims. Everyone knows for sure both of them. But one of them is more uh, well known. Uh, because everybody knows him, and then there's a second Karen Gashem, Shalel Garish Bal Karchai. The latter is taking much more Chomor in Halacha than the former. First of all, the former, the big, big discussion, this is not a Sharon Karen Ben Gashem, but the former arguably was only Chal, as we know, on a mixed of Klai Yisrael, on those who were within Rabbeinu Gershon's uh, orbit in Ashkenaz. Second of all, arguably it had what? <laughs> what did it have? <coughs> it had an expiration date. Um, arguably, not so much. Did I so shine a hold that? No, that it re- re-enacted itself. The Cherem Shalai Lagarsh Ishtai Bal Karcha was angenom in Kol Tfutzois Yisrael, even by the Sephardim, even though it was a Takana of Cherem Ben So this is a very brief Cherem I'm going to ask you, tell you another Cherem which you may not have heard about. And Maisa Shalhaya Kachaya. Maisa Shalhaya Kachaya. A person, uh, the, the couple of, uh, a couple of years ago, comes over to me in the summer and he tells me, uh, he asked me Shaila on Berchus HaGemel, I heard I had given a share of Berchus HaGemel airplanes. And he's going on vacation. What kind, what's the luck? I told him the sheet. I reviewed the sheets with him. And I said, to be polite, where are you going? You know, Hank, not so push it. I'm going to, you know, the, the, even to California. Where are you going? Where is some exotic place? He says he's going to to Barcelona, Spain. I said, really? He says, so sure you'd like to go to Barcelona, to Spain? He looks at me. He says, why not? What's wrong with to Barcelona? I say, you know, there's a discussion with the Paiskin whether or not there's a harem to be able to go the Sfarad. So how you like to go? So it's made him very nervous. He didn't know that I was a shtickle kibitz in him, because as you'll hear within the next 15-20 uh, minutes, uh, this harem 
his uh, besoshek whether such a chirim exists. But he got all nervous, and then I smiled at him. I said, "Listen, I'm going to tell you two people who went uh, to Sfarad just to calm you down because he was all nervous about it. You have to cancel his tickets." I said, "When I was a young man, I went boom, to Barcelona." Um, and I went to this place where allegedly, whether it's true or not, also is, nothing is clear in these things, where allegedly the disputation between the Ramban and James of Aragon and the church took place, where they had the famous Vikuach of the Ramban, which was recorded later by Rabbeinu Ramban, um, come out word for word in the Vikuach. Meredith, without a transcriber, without a tape, without a video, the Ramban rewrote word for word a Vikuach that took months months. Okay, that's the Ramban. So, um, so I was there myself, so I said. Um, and I'll tell you somebody else who was there, not the Mechmen Agresa Maiserav. I'll tell you somebody who is a Maiserav. Um, I remember a few years ago, maybe at the time, uh, I don't know, 20 years ago or such, it must have been yeah, 20 years ago at least, uh, none other than the Baal Yabi Aymer Ravad Yosef, Saif um <coughs> maybe more um, went back to Spain and at that point uh, what's his name had died Franco had died and the new Spain government took over and they wanted to show that they were uh, enlightened people so they opened up relations with Jews under Franco who was a grace of Russia there were no relations with uh, with, uh, with uh, Ines Israel and they brought the chief representative of the Sephardish Kehilla in in uh, and in the world, Rivadia, the Rav of Russia, they brought him to, to Spain, and he opened up uh, something, a school or whatever, in, in Madrid. And he says, he sees in Madrid. And then he printed this story in a Truvenia B. Eimer on this subject. So I'll tell you the kids before we finish the ending of whether or not it's possible to go back to Spain, was there such a harem, and whether it was Mutter. You cannot um, be Matur Chem de Gershon, if any of you are thinking about this. Um, so don't get any ideas at home because that is something which has a different type of a taikif. So let's finish now a few more rayonis in the Ramban on how a cherem works. So the Ramban goes on to say that a cherem has a yisoid, a gedr b'fnei atzmai, that's different than regular dar mishvus. Because the Ramban's kasha, was you need a pesach, you need a charata, as a nedal das rabim, is based on the fact that the reason why the cherem is mentioned in the sechel of darim, because it's a classical cherem of a nether. But this is a different type of a cherem. This is a different type of a cherem, zok the Ramban, and it's a cherem which is Bethnes um, Machram, and they say, Kolo Isa Kafka Kach, Muchramhu, Yehei Becherme Muchramhu. Says Ramban, Das Heist, Acherme Bitui Haguf. The Cherme is Chal on the person's Guf. Says the Ramban, you can see it inside. Ki Cherem Zem, Mitairas, Moshe Rabbeinu, Loi Lamad Nu. We did not learn this Cherem from Tairas, Moshe Rabbeinu. Where did we learn this from? We learned this from Kabbalah. What does Kabbalah mean? So the Ramban says, it's a Gemara in Maid Cotton. The Gemara is brought here on the first page on top, and the Gemara says, Minolon de Mechamrinon, Shenemar Oiru Arur, a Pasuk in Shaiftim. It's right in the middle of the Amid. Don't have time to go through the whole Amid with you. It's not the Iraisa. It's not the Iraisa. That a person is machrim lechas of Shem Shemayim. That's a totally different thing. That you're making a hegdish Shem Shemayim. That's Mesech with Erech. We're talking about charamim, which are either done by a call or by an individual. Says the Ramban, he's Moisif, and he says, is another sug of a cherem, and that's a cherem which a melech Yisrael Sanhedrin would do be maimed klal Yisrael. And if you're over on this cherem, you have misa, and the melech the Sanhedrin can kill you. And there are many such examples in Tanakh. One of the examples the Ramban brings. Look at this: the Shem Yiksha Adam Al Divarenu, bottom of page one, all the way to the bottom right. Matzinu Bagada. Here he brings it from Tanchuma. Al Mechiras Yaisef. Nachrum Beinenu Shaleyach. I love you guys, Baruch Hu. And the Ramban brings the entire the Medrash, which much more detail than we have. Bacha Ruvain. 
and they told him about the Chayrim. And the Kaddish Baruch Hu says, I'm also in the Chayrim. Even though the Kasha, this is Magad Devarv Yaakov, there's nothing which Rabbi Shalom held from Yaakov, this is the one thing he held. And therefore, says the Ramban, and this is the Mekar for Rabbi Nebachia, even though he doesn't cite this Ramban, that Lefichach Bar Rav Beret Yisrael, the Gantz Ishtal Sholois, all came through this. V'yordach HaYosef, Lishbar Bar, and they found Yosef, and they were mater, the Cherem there, because now they had all ten. They didn't need Rav Hashem at this point. V'shama Yaakov Shehu Chai, V'techi Ruach Yaakov Aviyem. And this is a prickle of Belezer, he wasn't dead. Shachosom in Hachemim. Wow, this is a fascinating Ramban. Ramban says there was a Hachemim out there. Yaakov didn't, even, didn't partake in this Hachemim. Yaakov Avinu didn't even know about the Hachemim. But because there was a Hachemim, it took away his Ruach HaKodesh. Everybody see this? On the left side, um, uh, uh, and the Ramban goes on to discuss maybe a kash of them, of the Shechem uh, of the Shvatim, which I don't have time to go into. And then the Ramban goes on to say the, the language I said in many cases, it's on the next page, in many cases in Tanakh, we find this Pasuk. Then he says, the coin to the Ramban, the Cherim, is in Tairaisa. It's Nilmat from a Pasik in Sefer Vayikra Chav Zayin Chav Tes. Kol Cherim Ashiyachim and Adam Loi Padia Mois Yumas. Which means that if you're over on the Cherim of the Melech or the Sanhedrin, you get Misa. Aye, the Gemara uses it for something else. Doesn't matter. Ain Mikr Da Yaitzim Bede Pshuta. It can be used for two things. Adkan, the introduction of the Ramban, and then. He goes on to which I'll summarize in a minute. Ramban is misakim four ways that a cherem is different than shulis in the dar. Number one, you don't have to put a cherem out from your mouth. A cherem can be done without bitui. Second, it can be chal on a person. The fun of a shalei fun of bal karchay. Third, if you're over on this cherem and you're perish min hatzibur, you could be have a lach of menuda. And fourth, you can be mukhayev, we said, Misa. Me'edach Yisra, there are two kulas, and a cherem, keneget, and shulis, and the darim. Number one, if we did tshuva, the person, the kohal can be matter, and you said, I'm sorry, I was over the cherem, but now I did tshuva. You know, when the best in Amsterdam put Spinoza in cherem, they gave him multiple times to do tshuva. They sent him shluchim, and they will mazer him. Because Bezdin is allowed to give you the opportunity to do tshuva. And you're allowed to do tshuva. He refused. So they had no choice but to put him in the cherem. A cher- this type of a cherem, unlike a nether uh, cherem, which has to have to have a lochus of how you made for it, you can do tshuva on this. And the second kula is that if the people from the city died or they went somewhere else, you can be matter it because not everybody is there and he goes into details and this. This is carried on by the Rishonim, the Rivash, and other Rishonim, and they all are maskim that the Samchos of the Chachamim to be Geyser Xeris is there, but it's Mugbal. Mugbal means it's circumscribed, and who is that for? Unlike the Melech or the Sanhedrin that was for Klai Yisrael, now or later it was Mugbal Lebnei Irai Ugvulai Seha. I got caught in a traffic jam. Coming here, it's because I came from far away, so I'm not the same year of you, because I live in New York and you live in Brooklyn. So whether you want to make a cherem here at that kind of this call and put a cherem on it, love dafke, it would be chal on me. In the Shulchan Aruch Yeridea, there are pratim in Reish Chavches, Hilchus Nadarim, Leich Vatidrashen and Misham. Is it Midai Raisa or is it Midai Rei Rabban? From the Ramban says, that the cherem is the iraisa, maybe the very kabbalah. The Trumas Adeshen disagrees with the Ramban. The Ramban says the very kabbalah, he learns, he picks the Pasuk and say for Shaiftim, which makes it by definition the very kabbalah. Trumas Adeshen, the site is brought here, I think, on the next page. You can see the Trumas Adeshen yourself if you want to see it. The site is Trumas Adeshen in Reish Pei Aleph, Reish Pei Beis. Trumas Adeshen says, Chorobos Adoraisa. Which is Sarah Yehoiva? 
Which the Isser is? Who's over the chelim. Which Isser is he over? Yeah. So according to the Ramban, that pasuk, that pasuk according to the Ramban, no, said. but the Ramban Lamaisa uses the pasuk and shaved him, and then he comes later down to a different pasuk. But the Truma uh, Sadeshin um, uh, brings a raya from two gemaras and chulin, doesn't cite the pasuk, but he says Takana Sakol Nami Doiraisi. He doesn't tell you which pasuk it is. He brings raya's from um, various Maimari um, Chazal. You can see it here. Uh, in on the top of page three, it doesn't bring a pasuk. It's interesting talk. It doesn't bring a pasuk. Well, love would be a, a rice has to be a love. The rice would have to be. It would be a love. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Um, but what he says, but needn't be done. I'm reading the lashon. The tiknu becherem be ola the kivolem be shvua. Im can't have the rice. It's nimshach from the from shvua from the parsha of shvua, which is a parsha in the Torah. And it could it be even from. for people who are born later. How is it? Oh, how the chalim born later? Okay. The night of Yehuda is the night of Yehuda has two chuvas on the Indian. And I just mis, the mislabe pedavar. First, the night Yehuda says clearly, he's discussing chenu ben gershon, and he says clearly that's a dairaisa mamish. Again, I'm not going to go through the whole thing, but he says. Um, on Neidah Behuda in Ayin Zayin, he says, "Yes, bekei chay lid chayis." He said the Raisa is talking about a chayim ben Gershon. It's pasuk the story of Yisrael, and he says, "Shemach masachayim shleigash b'acharcha nitcheshvu day Raisa." He doesn't tell you the the site of the pasuk, but he tells you that it's midin shvua. He's saying it about karchach. On the balkarchach, yeah. I said, I said, balkarchach is the more chamur. In Tinyana and Yerdeus and Kuf Monvev, he starts being Mesupak in this, and he says maybe it's Direk Kabbalah, and Nafkamin, of course, would be Linyan Sveika. Now, as the Rav said, um, and the Sechemra brings many Rishonim, who hold, even according to those who hold that Cherem is the Raisa, that's the side of the Takan of Cherem. But the <laughs> Muchrem and the, the Menuda are only sitting Medine Rabbanan, and therefore the Nafkamin would be. Both according to the translations of the Raisa and according to the Behudo says Divrei Kabbalah and Chayyid Ramban says Divrei Kabbalah would be a Suffolk. And we have numerous fakes here, as you'll see in a moment. Numerous fakes. We don't even know whether Chayyid Ben Gershom on Lisa Ishal Ishtai was tuck, was pug or not. So there are numerous Charamim, and as the Rav explained, we have fakes on how widespread a Takana could be done to Michal and other people. That itself is a suffering. So there are, are questions here which have to be nifshat. And then it's a machlaik sepaiskim, whether they're nifshat lekula, whether they're nifshat um, lechumra. Whether how widespread the concept of haram is are, as I said, you have to look in Reish um, Chavches, and there you'll see uh, a lot of the details. And as far as the Rav's question, how do we have the right to make haramim and takanais for dairai slater? So I'm going to bring you, just for the, to sum up here at the end, I'm going to bring you an answer to this question by using this test case. Two questions. <coughs> One I already mentioned, and that's the Cherem and Sfarad. And the second is a new question which I never heard of before until I started looking into the subject. And I bet you, a lot of you, even though you have a close shaykhis to it, Never heard it before. So there's a big literature on this shaila in Svarad uh, or And where does it come from? So it comes from the Baisai. It's not clear where it comes from, but it started with a legend. Where does the legend come from? It's brought from the Grim Tali Dano. Since I assume most of us are not Svarad here, we don't have such a yad in Svarad Shopaiskim. Um, but in, uh, um, Grim Talidano wrote a sefer called Ner Hamayrev Va'aveseinu Sipulonu. Our fathers told us Ki b'nei mishpachas Talidano. Listen to this, Talidano, who, who come from Toledo. Gozru chayrim alatsam lavil tishuv oidlus farad. They were gozru chayrim on themselves. On themselves. So now listen to the interesting zach. V'karu lehem yoz. Toli Danu. Kalemar? Toledo? No. Megane is strict in Toledo. I shouldn't be using Yiddish here. Anachorochos rim le Toledo. Toledo, no. That's where the word Toledo comes from. Ain't it from the Mishpachas Michas, as you know, Tommy de Chachamim. 
but the Paiskin cannot find a heter for this. Um, the Tshuva Sri De Eish received the Shaila um, uh, before the war. Tough Reish Sadi Gimel. Now, what was the Shaila? Shaila was already in 1933. The handwriting was on the wall, or it should have been, unfortunately, but because it has to it wasn't clear on the wall. Um, the handwriting was on the wall, and people started running away to Spain. And the Shaila, the Shaila was asked, the Shaila, you can see it on the last page, a Shaila written from Otsvotsk. Otsvotsk. Otsvotsk, yeah, uh, the famous uh, town in Lita. From Agoy Natsadek, Menachem Mendel Chaim Lando, I can't, I can't uh, pronounce the, the place where he's from, in Tafshreich, Sadek Gimel, written to Rav Yechiel Yaakov Weinrich, the Sri De Esh. The Sri De Esh was already a big Talmud Chacham, um, and he was the head, I think he was recently appointed as the head of the of the Vesmedish Larabonim in Berlin. That's when Vesmedish Larabonim was still a much of a term. Um, and he was asked, Michael is Yashiv Be'eretz Farad Bezman Hase. He says, Harba Goyla Ashkenaz Be'etzara wanted to go run away to Sfarad. And they heard that Mipia Shmoa, they heard in Bishnas, look at the, t- at the year. They even have it down to a year. Reish Mizara, Mem Zayin Reish He. So taking out my char, my my calculator, as Ben knows I'm very good at math. I figured out it is. Anybody know the date? Reish Nun. Right? Uh, did, uh, you can't it up. Reish Mem and, and twelve is Reish Nun Bay. Anybody know what Reish Nun Bay is significant? Fourteen ninety two. Huh? Fourteen ninety two. Exactly. The year of the Gerush. So when they were Magurish from Sfarad, they put on a cherem not to go back. To Svarad. Says Rav Michil Yaakov Abraham, I heard about this, but it's a Shmuel Ba'alma. Both he and Rav Avadio bring the same Raya. The Avodraham wrote a introduction to Sefer Molochim. Um, and in the Spirit of Tanakh. And um, there's no mention of this. And he was from the Goylem. And had there been such a cherem, say the Paiskim. He, Zicha, would have mentioned it. And look what he says. He says, it's Shmuel Ba'alma, Kilay Nizkar. And who said they were Makabalit? Umilan umira, Godlmer, Beiner Gershon, Shemaira Goyla, Mikamakim, Lain is Spashtu, Takanase, Bechala, Rotsa, Iskimavuyer, and they have Ezra Simon Aleph. Beiner Gershon, and that is Papa Chal Yisrael. And he says, even. Had the gezeres would have been made such a gezera, I'm like neskal neskabel meroy vaham leile take if this is one answer to the Rav Zohar. You need kabbal from Rav of Kli Yisrael, Rav vaham. And the Marin Vayda Zohar the Flam Vav but Aleph, those of us who came to Yisrael a few years ago, heard Shiurim and Shem and Leish Pashat Yisuri Beroy Yisrael. The Marin the Flam and Heyman Aleph, which talks about how. Chazal and Sanhedrin were geyser takanis, and even Chazal didn't have the ability to make takanis that was not in the spashet bechal Yisrael. Then he says, writing to Rabbi Weinberg, even that such a gzeir is kaim, like mistaver that there should be geyser on someone who is goylem and kaimai and is looking to run away to, for, from the Nazis. Ve'eretz Mitzrayim teichiach that you're allowed to go back to Mitzrayim, which is the mekayer of such a type of Israel is chayra, and you're allowed to go back. For Lailish Takea, Abu Bakal a Nani Maimil Khalash Muazaita was such a gzeira. Because we don't find anywhere. And Manishtana Gir said if you can start making Xera just because he left in fourteen ninety two, then we would have to start making Xeris not to go back to every single country in the world, come on. We were thrown out of every single place we were. So why don't we make Xera not to come back to every single place? Umanishtana Garusha Svad Megrusha Anglia. Um Garusha Tsarfas. Shalai Shamana Ma'ilam Shigruze Yimchali. And he says, Nishdo Azazach. In Shailah Tushuvah, Shailah Shloima to the Minkacharu. The same Shailah was asked. And he says, Call it like Pasuk. That when they left, Sfarad and Reishan and Beis, the plate made a cherem, Shloyav was Sfarad. And therefore, is this true or not? So he says, Mutter for many times. First of all, we don't know if it's true. We know them they made such a cherem. Even if they made such a cherem, we don't know if it was in the Sui Baray Yisrael. Even if it was in the we don't know if the cherem was Dafka on their Mishpachais and on their Yaitzim, Dafka on Svardim, or not. And he says the Abarbanel, I'm sorry, I said it with Ham earlier, I meant the Abarbanel. 
apologize, I misspoke. The Barbanel, the the Pirish on, on, on Malachim. In the beginning of Malachim, he says, doesn't mention this at all. And he says, I'll tell you more. Rivash, that was in the beginning of, of the Gerish. He wrote a shear. And he said, and the and the shear was devoted to the terrible things of the Gerish. And he said, had he been subject to such a cherim, he certainly would have put this in the Gerish. And the Moivindem, listen to this. Vishalti um as a professor, a Khachamanoida, and he says somebody from Yushalayim, Shagarbi Madrid Babira Sfarad, he must have been when he was in Yushalayim, I'm not sure. Ubaki Basifre Kairi Adaira Shalahem, Bul Shainam Lasna Kaidesh Vikasav Lisha Aim Bazash Shum Sefer. It's not mentioned in any Spanish history books. And Memela, I can tell you Ain and Mitasa Yadua Lahem. They never heard such a thing. And therefore he says, even there was a similar legend that they made certain haramim, all the way going back to the time of the Beis Mabit, and there was a lot of problems because nobody wanted to live in Yerushalayim. Yerushalayim was destroyed over the Dairis. It was never rebuilt. At first there were, of course, Negalil, and that was thriving in Tzfas. Um, and there was a, they founded Yafai. They wanted to rebuild Yafai. There was a harem living in Yafai. But a cher living in, in, in what, what today is Tel Aviv. Wouldn't be such a bad idea today. A lot of people still there, but still. Um, I'll call upon him. So he says, no, there's such a thing. It's Aruch Me'as to go there. And nobody took this cherim seriously. Why? Because you can't make such a cherim without Askamas Akal Yukla Yisrael. Bittul, when he goes through various details, and of the sinos of the kinosam, the Esterah God will be double her plate to me when I ilu to be able to uh, run away to there, and therefore he held that there was mutter and it wasn't chal. The last ones you mentioned were written somewhere. The last thing he mentioned, what? The last one you just mentioned, the Chaim for Tel Aviv said, those were written somewhere? Those yeah. were also betiras. What were they written in? Uh, it's not clear to me if they were written in. What does it mean written? There was I'm trying such. To understand the it's not yeah, I mean, so it, was, it wasn't written Shulchan Aruch. Obvious, new, obvious now. Right. Not. It was written in. It was the Nihu Gnerit Yisrael. Tchilas a Yishuv va'Achum Ne Yisrael Beretz a Kodesh la'Yeshu Yehudim be'Be'Er Be'Er Yafai. They had such a cherem. Now, where was it written? I mean, you know, no, the, where was the Merle Diskin's cherem on learning, no, uh, on learning uh, whatever written? It was written somewhere, but the question is whether it has a taikif, not That's whether it was written. Reason. I could write down a cherem against coming to Manhattan on Saturday no, nights no, in December because there's too much traffic. So what? before because it wasn't written, so they didn't take it seriously. No, no, that's Chazal's written. That's that's different. No, but you said before about the Spanish uh, cherem. Oh, no, that's the riot that it never existed. Yeah, but that's not a riot because it wasn't written. This wasn't written either. They were knighting it. So the, the way, um, if you want, I'm more than happy to show you. There's a copy here of a tshuva here from Rav and it's an extensive tshuva. It brings every single, uh, every single every single Maramakayim, and you can see the answer to your question of what written means and what written doesn't. Why do they want to know if if it happened or if it didn't happen? It's an unbelievable thing that because it didn't happen, then it becomes a soft, it comes become a sfex, sfex, right. faker. Oh, but they want to know what, what would make it that it did happen. That, what would How make would that it did know? happen? That it, that it did because if the Beis had made such a cherem, then the shaila would be who the cherem was chalon and who the cherem. Oh, uh, yes, it was later, hundred years, it was, uh, it was uh, 60, 70 years later. But if if the if the uh, if the Abarbanel made such a cherem and maybe there was such a cherem that was chal, then you have to clear: is it on mishpacha talidano? Is it on Ashkenazim? Is it only the, the the people were there, then Michelle Claren already uh, a child. If it didn't happen in the first place, it was just a legend, and so far it just began a legend, then it doesn't have to be taken with the same serious as text. Let me close bring, here with I two see things. You bring here in the back the comb of Asa. Oh. They wanted to make a well, shit. I'm going to get to that in a second. No, 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 no. Oh. So the last thing I'm going to mention is Michelle Roth, which is always an address for interesting to yes. was asked whether or not after the war, um, whether or not. Um, uh, the Rabbanu wanted to make a cherem on Germany. Germany, and he said, "Very shame. I understand where people are coming from. If a person wants to gather his children 
Right? So if my father wanted to take uh, my family and tell us not to go back, then I would have din of kibbutz. Out maybe, but even that, of course, wouldn't have a din of a halachadik cherem like cherem ben gershon. Even if somehow you could find a kol kol gadol yisrael at a knesia gadolah. With the fire, with the Gansi Yadis and Tyre would come together and make such a harem against Germany, he says, not push it that it would chal. Why? Because Acher Stimas, Gizeir Acher Shas and Ravashi Shas, we can't make Zeris. He quotes a lotion of a rush, you'll see yourself. Only at Nasim Seven, Gedailu Bes comes from heaven, we able to make Zeris. And therefore, even Takanas Rabbein Regarshan were not. The second day is, when it brings the Gmar Nevar to Zara, in Gaz and Gerb Tzibat Tzibat and Kerb Yachalami Ba. And this would be exerish ain actually on voices. People had to go back to Germany to 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 get their to the relatives out of there. People had to go back to Germany to get their money back. And he goes on the long, a long possible list of why people would have to go back. And therefore, and then he says agav. He says when kap mumash ayrish and megurshe sfarad gazer cherem shalosh of sfarad le matzasi zebazem shum sefer v'shmu ezeh ain lo isayid neman. He says, Mabit, there's no mention of it. So everybody wants to bring the Raya from Leire Inu Ain Raya. That's not there. I'm kind of, let me close here, Rabbi Sai, is where I began, which is Rufteman. So we mentioned Rufteman on Cherem. Now I'm going to tell you Rufteman on the end of the parsha. Maisa with Yosef and H.S. Patifar, because this is Mamish. Uh, Rupshteman, uh, Tipusi, word from Rupshteman. Ask Rashi. Ask Rupshteman. Vayi Yosef Yefei Tayer Vefei Mara. Shteit and Rashi Kivin Shara Atzmei Moishel Hischel Eichel V'Shaisa Mesalsel Besari. Correct, Rupshteman. Eichel V'Shaisa. What was the Tfina Eichel V'Shaisa? A person has to eat. Yeah, V'Chitzarech Les Anais. Zak Rupshteman, who's Yudua. Rupshteman ate the minimum a person ate to be able to subsist as a human being. HaKavona SheHatainu Ba'achila V'Shtiya Yaisr M'chdei HaTayra Shtimen knew where he was speaking from. Yaisr V'Tadik, and of course we're talking about Yaisr V'Tadik, ate more than he should have. As we saw at the at the end of the Parsha, because all of the Tviyah that he should have had more and more B'tachan. So at that level, you don't need anything. At that level, you have pure B'tachan. Obamis Rashi Mamshach said, HaKadosh Baruch Hu said, Avicha Mesabel, you be Mesabel, Misarcha, and he is Garabacha Sadaiv. Rashi uses Salsal Tsusari, doesn't mention Achila Vishtiya, even though Yosef did not know that his father was Miss Abel. But there was a Tvi on him anyway because he should have understood that if he disappeared, his father wasn't going to be Miss Abel. What else was going to happen? Zag Trav Shteyman, Umbamesha Hiskashet. Achila Vishtiya, we understand. What's it, Miss Salsal Tsusari? Yes, what's that, Miss Salsal Tsusari? Well, he was a kid, 17 year old, he wanted to look good. Yaymer Shalait Sarach Lahari Spain Yabrias God the Mizozel. People who are, who, who want to look good say, we, we don't want to look bad in the Aine Abrias, Tam Chacha, we don't look at the Mizozel. Because we're staying in Aval Kshem Shavurin, a person has a Messiah, a Durchfal, whatever Siba, then they don't comb their hair. Lay Eisen Kach. The terrace is, what's the pshat? The metzurif b'machshavtam gam atzmi is shaloi li ais yafa. Metzurif in the machshava was also the atzmi ais to be yafa, to be shame. In other words, it wasn't a hundred percent rain. It wasn't pure. And Yosef, even though he was mischaven l'shem shemayim as akter mikam akim l'fidar glasay hagdayla, there was a tria that should have been that should be one hundred percent pure and should not have been sort of any negias rabbi say. If anybody who knew Rav Steinman knew that that was one of the test cases of his life, he had, was meirach vadim. He had an ability to be able to see which tzvek. And which people, group of people, had any shemets and negias in Avodas Hashem? And if he felt that a person was negay b'davar, it was already he didn't take it with the same seriousness. And there were very few things in, in life where people don't have negias. I feel Yosef at Sadik Chazal Kinezog in that day was Masal so Masari. It wasn't pure. If it wasn't pure, because you can see people are not pure, because 
Uh, when you're sitting shiva, then you don't take a shower. Whatever the cheshman is, that's already not the pristine derech of Yitz Hashem. And the Rebbeinu Shalom fluttered from from Yosef Atzadik and even down at our level from a Nashim Talmid Chachamim Muganim Adkan Yisuf Soisuf Doiv Vayspekever Yeshakayach Rabaisa. Thank you, Rav, for allowing me to share this different tariff. I still don't know what the Isser of the Chayrim, we have to be Ma'ayim. Oh, that Posik, no, that Posik 